Today I'm back with another AppSumo deal and I'm going to give you my first impressions and you can kind of join me as I go through and show you how to use it. This is for WP Smart Pay. So if you're looking for a way to take subscriptions, donations, sell digital products, and you don't want to install a tool like WooCommerce, maybe WP Smart Pay is for you. But is it any good? Well, how about we find out together? Okay, so let's first of all take a look at the deal over on AppSumo, then we'll take a look at how to get started using it. So the deal currently on AppSumo starts at $69, and this gives you 10 licenses, 10 websites you can kind of use this on. There's a couple more plans on there, and as you can see, if we scroll down, we've got Tier 1, which is the one that I've picked up with 10 licenses, Tier 2, which is basically double the price, roughly, and that gives you 25 licenses, or you can go for tier three, which gives you unlimited site licenses. So if you're an agency and you're looking for a way to sell this to clients, the tier three might be a good option for you. Okay, so what does it include? Well, we've got unlimited products, unlimited payment forms, and these are used for things like your subscriptions, donations, and so on. You've got embedded and overlay forms, payment form templates, subscriptions of recurring billing. You can use Stripe, PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Paddle, and more. So there's plenty of different options, and you've got quite a few different integrations. So if you want to integrate with things like MailerLite, or MailChimp, or things like Fluid Forms, or you want to use a tool like Zapier or Pabli Connect, you can use those then to connect up to even more different tools online. So you should have most of your user bases kind of covered. Now I can't cover all use cases in this video, I just want to show you the basics, just so you can make an informed decision if you want to check this out for yourself, and if you want to pick up a license or two. Okay, so now we've seen what's included, and we've seen the pricing structure. What exactly does it do and how do we use it? Well, let's hop over into WordPress and take a look, first of all, at the basic settings so we can configure things. Then I'll show you how to use it to create some bit different kinds of payment options. So if we take a look under the Smart Pay settings, things are broken down into a fairly logical setup. Your general allows you to control the page settings, the currency that's going to be used, any coupons, whether you want to enable them or disable them. And I've already gone ahead and set this up. Now, most of the options inside you are default settings, so for example, the success page and the failure page. But if you wanted to customize these and create something more unique, you could change that to a different custom built page, use the page builder, Gutenberg, whatever you want. The currency, I've all set this up now for pound sterling, but there's pretty much every currency you could probably want is listed inside you. You can then control whether you want to have your currency symbol before or after based upon the currency and the country you may be in, and if you want to enable or disable coupons for forms and products. Your payment gateways then, it gives us a couple of different options. So straight out of the gate, you basically have under the payment gateways, you've got PayPal standard. But if you want to change that to something else like Stripe and so on, you can do that. All you need to do is go into the integrations, which we'll take a look at in a moment, enable what you want, and then they'll be listed inside you. As always, you just put in the relevant information, in this case, PayPal standards, your, your email address, if you want to use IPN, those kinds of different things. All of these are pretty standard and pretty straightforward. Your emails allows you to control what emails are going to be sent out and the information you want to send it from, your email address, you know, those kinds of things, all pretty straightforward and basic. Debug log, if there's any problems you want to check out, debugging information, you can find that inside there. The extensions, if we go into there, we can drop in anything we've got activated in integrations that needs to have an API. In my instance, we've got MailerLite. I'll drop my API key in there, connect that up, and then I can start to use that in my different smart pay options. And finally, you've got your licenses. So when you install smart pay, it'll be smart pay, you'll just hop in there, pop in your license information, activate it, and you should be good to go. Okay, so if we take a look now at those integrations to see what we can use and connect this up to, you can see Paddle, if you want to control payment in lots of other countries, Paddle apparently is one of the easiest ways to set this up, especially if you want to have different currencies in countries where Stripe and PayPal may not be supported. So Paddle should have you covered inside there. But you've got things like Bcash, you've got MailChimp, Fluent CRM, if you want to connect this up to a CRM. If you want to use the Affiliate WP plugin, you can connect it up inside your MailerLite, as you've already seen. And you've got Pabli and you've got Zapier. So if you want to connect that up, like I say, to additional tools, they should allow you to do it. And all you need to do is simply enable or disable and then fill out the relevant details. So once that's enabled, all we need to do then is go into our payments, or sorry, go into our settings section. Just go to your payment gateways and inside there you can see now we can activate Stripe. Once we do that and save our changes, you see Stripe now it is a new option inside there. 
we can open that up, fill out our relevant information, and then we have that payment gateway enabled as part of the plugin. So really simple, really straightforward. So that will show us a monthly report. It'll show us all of the income that we make, the revenue and so on, and any recent payments will be listed on the side. If we click, you can see we can download this in various different formats, and we could then connect this up and use it by a CSV, those kinds of things. So really simple. Obviously, I've got nothing really set up inside you. If we come into our products then, this is where we'll start working if we want to sell digital products. So let's go ahead and create one. So we'll add a new product. We'll call this Mega Widget 2. Drop in a description and information about your product. And you see we've got some basic things. We can create links inside you and so on. I would like to see a little bit more control inside you to get a bit more creative. If you want to add extra images and things like that in, it would be nice to have the full editor to give us a little bit more control. Currently, it is relatively basic. We can choose a file then. It's going to be our cover image. And we'll just grab, for example, this one. It doesn't really matter too much. It's more case just to demonstrate it. Now, the real cool part of this comes in when we take a look at the section underneath, the files and the pricing. So the files, we can just simply upload a file that we want. So this will be a digital download. We'll say it's going to be this. We'll select it and we've now got our file associated with it. If we go to our pricing structure. We can now create a price for this. And you can see we can set this up based upon a one-time payment or a subscription payment. So if you choose subscription, you'll see this allows you to set up the intervals, daily, weekly, monthly, so on. Let's put this back though for this example back to a one-time payment that will disable those additional options and now we can set our price. So let's just say this is £20 and we're going to say on offer it's for 15 So we've created a really simple product. Let's just go ahead publish this. Now once you publish it you'll see we get some new options. We get the short code for this so you can use this with any page builder you want or just keep it with Gutenberg or anything else. Even if you want to use a classic editor, you can simply drop that in and it'll be dropped into the page that you're creating. If we go to preview, let's open that up. It'll open a new tab and show us what it would look like. So you can see there's our mega widget. There's our price. We can click get it now. We can go to the payment process. Let's close that down. So that's a very, very basic example. For a lot of cases, that would probably be more than enough. However, if we go back into our pricing, we can set this up to have variations. And this is where it does get a little bit more powerful. Let's add a variation. Now we'll kind of override that basic that we've just set up. So we can now create options. So let's just say we're going to go for our mega widget. And we're going to set that one time price again. We've got subscriptions if we want to use that. We'll set that to be 20 and our special price of 15. So we've just basically recreated the same thing. And we'll say the file that's associated with it. And you may have more than one file. And you can see we can upload more files. So we've just opened up basically the same kind of thing. But let's add another option in. And we can say that for this example, we want the mega widget plus consultation. And we'll put in brackets one hour. So now what we can do is, again, we can set this to be one time or a subscription. We can set our base price. And this time, this is going to be a bit more expensive. So this is 100 and we'll set this to be 75 because we're offering a special, special deal. And in the description, we'll just say one hour exclusive consultation. Cool. You can see the file is associated with it. And again, if we wanted to sell this as a package and it might be something that has more files associated with it, well, you can add that inside there as well. And you can keep adding more and more and more to this as you see fit. But we're going to save that as it is. We'll click save. We'll preview this like we did the last time, and we'll see now that we get most of the same information, but we get this option now that allows us to step through and choose different variations. So there's our mega widget, or we can choose our mega widget and the consultation, and you see there's our one hour exclusive consultation. We can hit get it now, and that will then allow us to choose the payment method. If we've got a coupon code, if that's activated, we can choose that from there, and we can fill out our relevant information, and we can go ahead, click pay now, and that will take us over to Stripe, PayPal, or whatever payment gateway you've chosen, and give you the option then to pay for it. Okay, so all very, very simple and straightforward. And like I say, you've got your short code there should you want to use it. Now, I don't think I need to show you how a short code works. It would literally just drop this into the page and look like I've just shown you. And if you're using a page builder, you could use that and you could customize things a little bit. Okay, so that's basically products. Very, very easy. 
If we hop over into forms, this is where we can do things like create subscriptions or we can create donations and things like that. So we're gonna create a form and then we're gonna set up what that form actually does. So let's go to add new. Now you can see this creates a very, very basic form. Your first name, last name, and email. If you wanna add more things in there, you can do by clicking on the plus and keep on adding if you need to. Let's just change this to a title. I'm gonna call this donation form. We'll leave the builder itself as it is, and we'll simply come into the options. Now this works in a very similar fashion to what we saw with the variations. You can see we can create unique amounts. So we could say $10, $50, $100 if we wanted to specify set ranges, or we can include a custom amount, or we can combine the two together. So let's go ahead and set the first value. So we're gonna say this is gonna be 10 pound donation. I'll copy that from there to make my life just a little bit easier. One time, again, or we can have a subscription, so you've got that flexibility to create subscription models. And we'll just set the value inside there to be 10. We'll add another one. We'll repeat the process, so we'll change the label. This time we're gonna put in $25, or 25 pounds in my example. One time, 25. And we'll do one more amount inside there. So again, we're just gonna paste that in. We'll set this to be a 50 pound donation one time, and we'll set 50. Okay, so we've created three different variations of amounts. We'll leave the allow custom amounts unchecked for a moment because we'll try it without that, and I'll show you the differences. Then we've got what happens. So you can set this up to not only take a donation, but also to then join them to a mailing list or something, and then you can drop them into a sequence and keep them up to date with what's happening with their donation or put them into a marketing sequence, whatever you kind of want to do. So let's just say we'll publish this. Once we do that, again, we get the same, we get that short code and we get the preview option. So let's take a preview. And you can see this is a little bit different. There's no images or anything associated with it. So it would be, again, nice to have the ability to drop an image into here so you could have something that it relates to. It could be, you know, an animal uh, sort of sanctuary. It could be dealing with another country to send sort of donations over to them. It would be nice to have some kind of visual representation like we can with a product. And but it's good to see that we've got error checking built into this. And then we can hit pay now. That will redirect us to the payment gateway of choice and you can see now we can go ahead, fill out our details and either start a subscription or pay that one-off amount of money. So really, really simple. Let's hop back into the options and let's just say we'll allow a custom amount. You can drop in a custom label if you want to inside there. We'll hit save on that. Once that's saved, we'll preview it and you'll see we now have that new option that says select the actual amount you want to pay yourself. So you can drop that value inside there and give people the ability to create donations of the set amount or pay whatever they want. Opens up more options and more potential to get donations coming in. Okay, so once you've kind of set those things up, you've then got options for customers and you can track all your customer information. So when you have customers, they'll be listed inside here. You can view the details and get a nice simple layout of what they've done. So the total number of payments, great if you've got a recurring subscription, you can see how long they've been paying. You can see how many completed, how many pending, and how many have been refunded. If you wanna take a look at the details, you can see, for example, this one, we can open this up and take a look, and there's a breakdown of the details. And it tells us currently this is pending. And if we want to, we can change the status of this in the same way you can with something like you know, WooCommerce. So we can say, well, okay, they paid us by check, for example, and we can just say, well, that's completed, we'll update it, and there we go, we've manually updated it. Or we could go in, abandon, revoke, you know, all those kinds of things. If you wanna work with coupons, you can set that up. So you can see we can come in and create a coupon. We can give it a name, a description. You can see we can set a fixed amount or a percentage amount. So if you're used to creating coupons with the likes of WooCommerce or probably most digital download type uh, sort of services, this is all gonna be very, very familiar with you. You can see we can change this over. We can set the coupon amount. We can set an expiry date on it. And we can also come into a usage restriction. Now, for some reason it says upgrade to Pro, even though I've got Pro installed and activated. So I'm not really sure why that's like that. Maybe I need to check that out. But you should be able to create your coupons inside you. Any payments then, this will give you a list of all the payments, the status of those. You can view information about them. Again, it's basically take you to that same location as your customers where you look inside there. And that's basically it. If you want to take a look at subscriptions, that will be listed inside here. So there's not really a huge amount to this particular plugin. Do I think it's worth spending money on? 
If you're looking for a simple tool that allows you to create subscriptions, donations, or simple digital products, this may well be perfectly fine for you. The cost of entry isn't massive. It's still relatively early on, but if you want something that is tried, tested, and robust, then maybe you wanna look at something like easy digital downloads or some of the options you have with a tool like WooCommerce. So for me, I've invested in it. I'll test out a little bit more. I think it's a promising start, it's not gonna set the world on fire, but as long as it does the job that's meant to do and it does it in a very simple fashion, I think it's a good starting point. There's still room for improvement, but like I say, the cost of entry isn't massive. But that's kind of my first look. You've seen how it works. Let me know in the comment section below if you've picked this up, if you are gonna keep it, if you're gonna refund it, if you're already thinking of picking it up, has this helped you make a decision one way or the other? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, all the links you need are in the description. It is an affiliate link, and if you want to use that, fantastic. If you don't, then feel free to go straight to AppSumo, grab it yourself, and just enjoy the plugin. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.